Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. Today's tutorial is tea bag folding made into a Christmas ornament. Awesome gift chopper, awesome card topper, and it would be a beautiful gift all on its own as well. And the lovely thing is you could wrap it in an envelope <laughs> if you want to because it is pretty flat. What you're going to need is eight tea bag folding tiles. I have them for sale on my website if you like the one that I used in this um, in the tutorial. But you could also use any eight identical two inch squares that you can find. A little bit smaller if you're putting it on a card perhaps as you'll want it to fit on the card. Of course it depends on the dimensions of the card that you're making. And uh, yeah, a little bit of ribbon as well, a pair of scissors to cut them out, and of course double-sided scrapbooking tape. Now, while I'm on that subject, I did have a couple of questions on a couple of my other videos as far as like what sort of tape do you use and what's the name of the tape that you use for your projects? Because I hadn't thought of because I hadn't thought about this too much, but we have a different brand of tape here in Australia. So I use Express It double-sided, uh, I think it's as double-sided acid-free scrapbooking tape. Any sort of double-sided scrapbooking tape that you can find should work. And obviously you're going to want to experiment a little bit, but here's what I'm hoping is that one of you will know a name of a double-sided scrapbooking tape that's available in the States. And please, 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 or and also other countries, please put the name of the country and also the name of the brand of the tape and where to buy it in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate that, as would um, many people who are in the States and can't get the brand that I use here in Australia. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. When you're ready, let's go make some Christmas ornaments. Okay, please bear with me. I am trying out a new filming setup. So <laughs> hopefully this will work. We'll see how we go. All right, so we are making a Christmas ornament tea bag folding style. So this is a new style of tea bag fold that I have not taught before. However, I have taught this technique before. So if you are familiar with the paper crane, you are all ready to make this. Basically, it is the first few steps of the paper crane done eight times and then connected together to make an ornament. So, what do we do first? Well, we're just going to take, I'm just going to slide these out of the way. So you need eight of these squares. You need eight of these squares and the first fold that you're going to make is with the design side facing up you're going to uh, you're going to match corner to corner and fold your paper on the diagonal open it back up again turn it and fold it on the other diagonal so now you've basically folded an X into the paper now you're going to turn your paper over so that the blank side is facing up if you're using a tea bag tile and turn it again and fold it in half so you'll notice that these valley folds here valley fold is when it makes a V these valley folds are folded in a plus sign and the mountain folds when it makes a mountain the mountain folds are folded on an X. All right, now let's turn it back up so it's full. It's uh, turn it so that it's right side facing up. Take your two corners and bring them down to meet each other like this. Now, when you do that. They're going to meet and it's funny you, your folds are going to want to go that way they're going to be perfectly happy to do that so you're going to pinch it together and then the other ones are going to try to come to the middle let them it's that easy so you just be very gentle with it and it will basically collapse into this beautiful shape okay the next step once you've collapsed that bit there so that's what it looks like from the top. 
That's what it looks like from the bottom. The next step is to have the top facing up. So that's the center fold bit, so not where it's open, where it's closed. Top facing up, and you're going to take that bottom open edge. You have one flap and then the back flap on one side, one flap and the back flap on the other side. You're going to take that bottom left hand edge down here where my left hand is, and you're going to fold it in so that this edge of the flap meets the middle line, like so. It's really nice to have that middle line there because it tells you exactly where to fold. Now, if anything, you, you want it to be just shy of that middle line when it meets it, rather than going over the middle line. And you'll see why as we get to the next step. On the other hand, you're going to take that bottom right hand edge and bring it up and meet that center line again. And this time, it's actually going to line up with the left flap. It's like the mirror image here. There you go. Now if I hide the back flaps there, see how it looks a bit like a kite? That's a good thing. That's exactly what you want. Notice the nice clean folds here and the way that this sort of makes a straight line across here is also a good thing. All right, next step. We are going to open this up and lift up this top flap just a little bit. Now the, the point at which your last folds met each other, here and here, is really key for this next step. You're actually going to open up the flap and slide your fingers under until you meet where that fold happened, which is right there. And the same on the other side. When you do that, so you slide your finger up until you meet that point. When you do that, if you rest your finger on that edge and create a little bit of a crease there at that point where the two two edges meet it's then going to try to sort of collapse on itself I don't know if you can see this and look at it from the side so there's where the point met and there's where the point met and I've come up and made a little crease there and now it's starting to go like it wants to collapse. That's actually a very good thing and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to collapse that first bit and I do the first bit first, the first bit first, I do this part first because the folds are already going in that direction and then I do this other one up at the top here second because I have to turn it into a fold. It's inside out. And we'll do that again. And there we go. Just pinch it down. That's the completed segment for the tea bag fold. So if you look at your if you look at your tea bag uh, folding medallion here, this is one of the segments for it, one of the pieces, components, if you will. And there it is. All right, go back and do that. You're gonna hate me after this seven more times. <laughs> That's right, you're gonna do this eight times total. So you have eight of these segments. When you do, come back and meet me at this point in the video and we'll complete the medallion. Now, if you feel that this was confusing a little bit, I did do this on six inch uh, blank paper as well, larger paper and um, not as busy, the paper wasn't as busy, with the paper crane tutorial. So if this has confused you, the link for the paper crane tutorial is below. Watch the first couple of steps of that until you get to this stage, um, and that may, may be of uh, help to you. All right, so once you've got eight of those, come meet me back and we'll finish it off. All right, grab your double-sided tape and let's get sticking. Just going to put a little bit of tape underneath that flap there on the back flap and then slide your next one in in between the top flap and the back flap making sure that when you press down to stick them together that the center 
matches and that the corner points here match as well. That'll give you the, the best looking medallion when you're finished. So you're going to do that again. Tear off a little bit of double sided adhesive. Stick it down. Turn off the paper, of course. Stick it down, peeling off the paper and sliding it in and pinching it down so it makes a little sandwich. There you go, making it as neat as possible. And then you just do that a few more times until you've got eight all connected and we'll finish it off. Okay, now that you've got all eight connected, you just have to connect that final bit there. And when you do, just grab a little piece of uh, ribbon. I'm using very thin, I think this is three millimeter or something, it's very small ribbon. But you can use whatever you've got on hand, whatever you like. I'm just tying a little overhand knot in it. You can trim the end if it's a little bit too long. And just so it makes a loop. Then you peel off the sticky. If you find that your double-sided adhesive isn't sticky enough, you can use glue. You can use all sorts of things to uh, attach that in there. For this purpose, I'm going to use the double-sided adhesive. Uh, but, you know, whatever you've got available to you is perfectly fine. And then pinch them down. And you'll find that the dimension of the paper actually allows you to... Uh, it hides the ribbon pretty well. It, won't, it shouldn't, shouldn't stick out and it's in a really nice place to hang on your tree, to put on a present, what, what have you. Thank you for watching the video today. If you've enjoyed it, please like click the like button below so that I know to do more videos like this. And um, if you'd like to see more in the future, please press the subscribe button and then you'll be able to get it in your, in your news feed and uh, check it out when a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.